Okay, for realsies, we're back this time. Three weeks ago, we are like, hey, we're training, we're doing training videos again. Virtual wine and dine. And, um, you know, as is the case lately, time disappeared. Somehow three weeks passed and we didn't get a video up. So, uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, show you some footage from two weeks ago. <laughs> from our run two weeks ago. And, and, and talk about <laughs> motivation. Motivation, including uh, motivation for, uh, you know, making videos. COVID is weird. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about how we're staying motivated. We just got back on a run. Yep. Sport beans. Yep. So stick around. We're gonna fuel up. We'll yeah. be right back. Okay. Okay. Mm. So let's talk about motivation. Motivation. What's motivation for us? What's motivation for you? Motivation. So I don't think we're um, unique in that we sign up for races to keep us running, mm -hmm. right? That's what I've done for years. I started running 10 years ago. And that's the way, you know, you push yourself to do something new and to do a longer distance or do a faster time. Yeah. Or, you know, do a crazy challenge like a 10K one day and a half yeah. marathon the next day. And motivation for me was to be with you yeah. to, and then, you know, the just the health benefits of running. So, sure. I mean, we're all the same in that way, right? Something like that. But what about right now? So right now, um, it's a little harder. It is harder. So virtual races are great. We've obviously signed up for some. We transferred one of our registrations for wine and dine to virtual. So mm -hmm. we just we're, we're training for that. Oh, speaking of virtual, talk about motivation. Check these out. I get motivated from with uh, some bling. Sure. Sure. Like, so, like this. This is some bling from a run. Anyway. So is this, oh, you can't see it. So we're, we're still signing up for races, mm -hmm. virtual races when we can. We're still trying to run, mm -hmm. but our training just looks different. Mm -hmm. So when we used to train, we would, um, you know, run on the weekends and throughout the week, we tried to do two days of strength and two days of like cross training. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, that was our general schedule. We normally fell off of that schedule about halfway through whatever training period we ran. Um, and then, you know, we keep doing runs and whatever. So what's changed about that now is um, I'm working from home. David's working from home. Uh, we knew in March that we would have to get out of the house every single day in some way. And what we did was we started walking the dog. Our uh, old pup who um, used to separate from terrible, oh my gosh, she's <laughs> such a ham over there. Yeah, she's, she's yawning at yeah. us. Um, she used to have like this really rough arthritis. She could barely walk around the block. Well, now we're taking her on, um, you know, mile and a half to almost two mile walks every day. So what we're doing for our training is walking every day. And that's been good. Um, but for the last few weeks, we've started like seriously running again. You know, we had run like maybe once a month. Yeah, but the maybe. walking really started a new kind of motivation for us. So every day we're getting out, mm -hmm. uh, we get, out, get outside, mm -hmm. take a look at the neighborhood. We're taking our pup with us. We're like really and into birds now and yeah. stuff like that. that so, we so know before. that was a that was a new kind of motivation uh, that you know we never really did before, and that's mm -hmm. helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we also signed up for so in addition to like dedicated race day virtual races, we've also signed up for a um, uh, like a cumulative cumulative virtual run. So we're doing um, it's called the Trans Texas Trail Virtual Run something. And basically we're running over the course of six months, you walk or run uh, the equivalent of the length of I-10 across Texas from, you know, El Paso to the Louisiana border, whatever the town is. Orange. In, orange. And it's like 879 miles. We're like halfway through it. And, um, and that's been motivating. In. It's fun, so, right? Yeah. It's virtual. We log our miles well, every day. We're not going anywhere in particular, but we're logging the miles that we um, put in and that's been great you know you get online you log in you see a virtual map of you know everyone's progress and uh, that's been great and uh, you know we've been uh, we've been uh, tagging it on Instagram and we were uh, 
announces some uh, monthly winners we want a prize. of a prize, we a major a award. We don't know what it is yeah. yet, it hasn't shown up. We never win it. But we're super excited about it. Yeah, so, you know, that's been great. So that's been motivating. Yeah. You know, virtual runs, uh, they're obviously, for all of us, they're all out there. And, mm -hmm. you know, they're they're uh, available and they all have their their special twist, uh, mm -hmm. special bling. And, you know, something that's, that's really, um, so I know that, you know, race day, there's the, the uh, anticipation, the excitement, you get up early and you go to this different place and you go, oh, it's so much fun, you cross the finish line out. There's also a benefit to virtual runs that I don't think we should uh, downplay and that's that um, it's flexible. So if race day is on a day that you had whatever going on or it's horrible weather or you know, you're know you sick or whatever, you can just do it a different day and still earn your award. So that's cool, that's cool. Um, so motivation and another thing, for, another way for us is uh, making these videos. <laughs> so you may notice that we look like we just walked through a rainstorm. We did not. We went for our seven mile run today. Um, and uh, while we have, thank goodness. Nice weather. We got a little bit of a cool front this, yeah. this week and it's not a hundred degrees outside uh -huh. anymore. Um, it's gonna be what, 80 day? I think 83 or 83. something. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, but it's still a little humid. Yeah. So um, we are sitting on the floor so as not to destroy our furniture. <laughs> and yeah. so kind of like the way we approach runs, which is if we don't run first thing in the morning, it's not happening. Yeah. So we figured what's different now about our videos than what we used to do, like when we were training for the marathon and we put up a video every single week <laughs> covering our, our training. <clears throat> and part of it is that it's like running first thing in the morning. If we don't do it immediately, it's not gonna happen. So every single day for the last two weeks, we're like, oh, we need to do that video. Yeah. Oh, we need to do that yeah. video. And then by the time you know we finish with work and whatever, it's like, no, no, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna not do that. Hey, pal. Here comes coach. Come here, pal. Come on, you okay. Um So we just finished our run, and oh, Millie, come on, man. Um, this might be part of the group. Yeah, we just finished. We are oh uh, we are now sitting in a, po a pool, a pool of our sweat. sweat because for some reason the fan in the living room like doesn't reach the like it's like in the middle of the floor is the best place to be. So here we are. We just ran, and we're recording our video. So yep. we're gonna get something up this week. Yeah. So a different kind of motivation. <laughs> yeah, actually doing videos. It's fun to do. It's yeah. good catalog for us. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, we get to show off our dog. Yeah. So. Um, thanks for joining us. You know, tell us your motivation. You know, a lot of you, uh, training, running virtual runs, tell us what you're running. Show us your playing, uh, share motivation, uh, with us. Cause it's all we got <laughs> and it's different. It's all we got. It's different. <laughs> thanks for joining us. You know, no matter how we do it, where we do it, it's always an adventure with you. Your stinks, pal. <laughs> Your stinks. Yeah. <laughs>